Hey G fans, Art. Goji Fan93 here, and I'm um, continuing my let's play of Godzilla Generations, and uh, we are on the fourth part now. I believe it's fourth. Yep. Um, I'm also here uh, in Google Hangouts with some of my fans. Um, here with Taylor, uh, Kiryu, Goji, and I think who's else hey. here? I'm actually yeah. gonna. I'm actually gonna uh, have a little you guys, long. I'm actually gonna have you guys do roll call. So, so right. yeah, just do some. I'll do roll call. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that pagoda again. Yeah, that pagoda. <laughs> Destroy the pagoda. Get the pagoda. Get the pagoda. That's what's annoying about this level is that the freaking like, like okay, like this ledge that I'm about to hit, like it's actually yeah. There we go. See, it's you can destroy that. It's like how are you supposed to know that you can actually stomp on that? Like it's just silly. But mm -hmm. yeah, kill the pagoda. <laughs> I know. Do you remember that one hey, day? Yo, Ultra Mothra was getting destroy so, the pagoda. Ultra Mothra was getting so mad at me for that part. She was like, "Why did you destroy that? Destroy the pagoda!" I'm like, I will. <laughs> and then there was a bunch of army guys that were like guarding it. So I'm like, I gotta take them out first. And she's like, "No, yeah. just take them out." And I'm like, "Okay." I got it. Yeah, I do. you know what would be really nostalgic? <clears throat> what? If Yes, I was actually includes a pagoda in in in, in his Godzilla movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, they should. They should because that's like that's that's like the classic iconic. It's part of Godzilla's thing. I know. Right? It, it's like Godzilla. They show you the pagoda for the audience. Yes. <laughs> no problem. We'll probably see something because I think part of the movie is going to take place in Japan, from what I understand. I hope it does. I mean, it'd be yeah, kind of, it, it, it'd be kind of I stupid think it's like if it didn't. First half in Tokyo. Oh, there Japan. goes the pagoda. Okay. Yeah. If Ultra Moth is watching this, I hope you're happy now. I remember seeing set photos of. Crap. <laughs> I remember watching, uh, looking at the set photos of. Like school children running away from a blue screen. Oh yeah. Uh, I actually heard another thing. You guys probably heard it too. That um, rename the movie quick. <laughs> that uh, what was it? Um, they're gonna be using some. Well, maybe uh, some. What was it? Mation? Suit. Like they might actually be using parts that are a suit. Suitmation. Yeah, suitmation. Yeah, it might. They so some parts might actually be utilizing that, which makes me. That really nice. excited, yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be amazing if they if they brought that. So. Or at least some I'm kind sure of motion Garrett capture. Edwards wouldn't be opposed to. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about motion capture, but it would be nice. I think I think when it comes up to let's say okay, so you remember like in Godzilla 1984 how they actually built a was it around like 30 foot animatronic. Godzilla to do the close-up shot so that they wouldn't always yeah. have to get a guy in a suit oh, to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's, I think that's where, yeah, I think that's actually where it'll be good, is that if they do, like, close-up shots in the new movie, how about they just use an actual prop, you know? Like, an yeah. actual Godzilla suit there or whatever, you know? I think that that would actually be really awesome if they did that. Yeah, I actually heard, you know, you know like, the, the first Photo before the um get your encounters. Tut <laughs> sucker. Yeah. <laughs> that um that it show shows the part where it looking through through the window. Yeah. Oh someone, no. Someone said said that 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 there was a mix between the G forty um forty foot wait no, not forty. 94. Oh, 94. Yeah. 84. 84. 84. Yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah they were saying a mix. Yeah. And I, I could see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love that. I would love yeah. that if they did a mix between 84. Maybe like, 84, they were saying 84 and, and uh, the Millennium, like 2000 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I think would be the best. I, I mean, that'd just be amazing oh, yeah. if they did that. So. Yeah. yeah, I think, if I remember correct, uh, uh, see a little bit. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah. Show up. If I remember correctly, I think Akira Takarazu no, said that it's going to have the spines like the Millennium Godzilla did. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Wish I'm not opposed to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. I think, well, I think, you know, for, 
you know, for Godzilla to be in the modern times, I think the old spikes just won't cut it anymore, you know? So I think definitely having the Millennium style spikes where it's a little bit more aggressive will would be a better choice yeah. than having his traditional spikes, which aren't really, I mean, they're cool and all, but it, I, I just think that the newer spikes just kind of speak more modern to it, you know? They kind of stick out more. Yeah, yeah. It would just look better, I think. Oh, oh, oh the GMK spikes. More Yeah, the GMK spikes were interesting. Yeah, those are actually... Mm -hmm. It's like a cross between the traditional and Millennium. Yeah, it is actually. Yep. You know what would be cool, too, is that if maybe the new Godzilla had um, uh, just like soulless eyes like he did in GMK, you know? That'd be kind of cool, too. Yeah. No pupils. Yeah, no pupils. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember when I first saw GMK, and I was like six at the time, so don't judge me, but I hated it, to be honest. Because I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> what? This, this soup doesn't look that good. Well, it's funny when I... F yeah, and then I actually... Sorry, go um, on. Thanks. Um, when I first saw the design for the GMK Godzilla, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm not going to watch this movie. This isn't going to be worth my time. <laughs> and then I started reading reviews for it, and I thought, well, this actually sounds pretty good. And I'm yeah. glad I finally broke down and watched the movie. It's like, oh, this is the most awesome Godzilla movie I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. It is like a remake of the original Gojira, just more, more on the epic side. It just has it just has a really nice original twist to it, I think, you know, yeah. and I, I think I just think that, you know, obviously I was actually watching another thing also about a discussion of uh, the new 2014 movie and um, I'm actually begin to get a little bit more scared actually because I was watching this one guy who was talking about the producers and the writers and the I don't remember if it was um, which which I don't remember the writer or if he was a producer or writer I think it was more of a producer and it was um some Japanese name I cannot pronounce but something Bano which I guess was oh. the guy of okay. Godzilla versus Hedorah and I guess like a lot of people said that that was like the worst film ever so which is kind of interesting because I do not think that that film was bad I it was weird but I don't yeah. think it was bad I wouldn't say that the, Wait, which the movie? guy who Hedorah the guy who oh. directed Godzilla vs. Hedora, he was gonna make the 3D film in 2007, in 2007, but now he's producing this. Huh. Yeah, his movie was gonna be called Godzilla 3D to the Max, it was oh gonna be an God, IMAX yeah. film. That's right, that, that thing. God, to I the was, Max! I was following that, like, for so long, I was like, where, like, what is mm -hmm. gonna go on with this? Like, where is this? And I was also following the, another movie. Oh, sorry. It was like, I don't know if it was a, a fan, it was, I think it was a fan thing, but it was, it was Godzilla X King Ghidorah something, and, or, no, Godzilla Zero Hour. Do you guys remember that? Oh, no, yeah, I remember. I, and it was, it was supposed to be like the CGI Godzilla, like, completely computer-generated movie. And it was supposed to be Godzilla versus Gamera, the first film that was actually going to have Godzilla fighting Gamera, and it also had Gigan in it and King Ghidorah. Oh yeah, in it. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, what was, happened? Uh, like what happened to that? Like that, that was pretty, that actually sounded really cool. I'm not sure. I'd have to I go know. through one of my older issues of G Fan Magazine, but I think the project just kind of fell through. Yeah. I f if I remember correctly, they showed the trailer for it at uh, G Fest. Uh, after that, it kind of just went no wares. Oh, like I said, I'll have to do some research on yeah, it. That sucks. Yeah, because I mean, because I was following that, and I actually remember they had a a day where they were they were going to release something, and I actually was waiting all day during school, and I was I was really excited to get home because then when I got home, I was going to go on the website or some some site that had said that they were actually going to that the movie was going to be released, and so then I go and and I uh, and I watch it and. It's just this like commercial or something. It was a total fake or something like that, and I, I was like really disappointed. All right, who? What do you think I should do? Should I just like run out and destroy the rest of that building before the timer? Yeah. Yes. Do you think yes. I'll be able to make it? You think I'll be able to do yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, go for it. Get it. <laughs> go! Get it. Go, hey, Godzilla. Hey, go, go, go. Fuck! Smashy. I'm not gonna make Smashy. it. Smashy. I'm not gonna make it. I gotta go back. Go. <laughs> no. Go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Three. Oh god. All right. Should I try? Okay. Maybe then. Maybe the other round here. 
go, go, go. Should go. be able to get in time, go. I think. <laughs> ah, get it with Mash. your tail. Hit it with your Mash. tail. Mash. Okay, good. Oh, yes. Okay, there I got go. most of it. I got most of that. All right. Now I just got to find that last freaking tree. Throw me a freaking bone. Throw me a freaking bone here. Oh, I've been watching too much of Austin Powers lately. Oh, someone dropped it. Who was that? Oh, little G, little long G left. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't remember that name. Maybe he's a new guy. That kind of sucks. I like having new people. Uh, he's back. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, he's been on some of the uh, videos lately that me and Travis and Dina and Kira you have been doing lately. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Just I'm just going pretty much in like circles with this now. This is ridiculous. All the like kids that are my age, and, like a year younger. Yeah. I hate this. I hate going around in circles like this. Is there anything in the water that I'm missing? Where is it? Where is it? Where is that? Where's that damn tree? A fish. I'm 60. I'm almost 60 freaking years old. I don't need this. <laughs> Can you believe that? 60 years old. A 60-year-old franchise that has a very strong fan base still. It's crazy. Yeah. 60 years. We'll look at, like, James Bond and Doctor Who. We're not 60, but, you know. Yeah. We're kind of close. Uh, oh, yeah, Doctor Who's yeah but, but the thing number. is, the thing is, Joel was expecting, was expecting the original Godzilla to be the only film. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's probably why Godzilla Raids Again was kind of throwaway yeah. because they were like, oh, let's just make another one, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know so many people badmouth that movie, but it's one of my personal favorites. Like, I actually, when I first saw it, it was the English version, and I oh. I just hated it. I hated yeah. it. I th I was like, wow, they called him Gigantus. Hey, they, the characters hey, were you. stupid. The everything was just so ridiculous. And and then when it came to the actual fight, I was like, it just looks like a bunch of puppets hitting each other, you know. But then I watched the Japanese version, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is way better. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> At least Godzilla sounds like Godzilla in the Japanese version, not yes. like the uh, Americanized version where most of the time he sounds like Angerus. Yeah, I know. That was a, that was another reason why I was so pissed off at it. I was like, why the hell did they make him sound like Angerus? It makes no sense. Oh yeah, I can only f see a Godzilla n would be named Gigantus if if he was human raised. Yeah. That's it. Where oh, is hey, that Gigantus. last? freaking building. I do not understand what I'm missing. I think if they were gonna make a movie called Gigantus, it would be like Godzilla, but with no back spines. Yeah. Oh, where's this last freaking building? Godzilla's just gonna dizzy. He's just, he's just gonna get dizzy. Where is it? Where is it? Where's this last tree? I cannot find this last tree. I'm getting so stressed out. Oh. <laughs> Where the fuck is the tree? Ah! <laughs> She's in the corner, right? <laughs> you think that's what Godzilla does when he gets just pissed off? <laughs> he just starts blowing his atomic breath out of nowhere. He's just like, fuck! <laughs> you know, if you think about it, Godzilla really was the first I'm a fire and my laser guy. He really was. Oh, that's yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> he really was. He was the first one. He's, I'm a fire in the laser. Toho should have copyrighted that shit. They should have been like, oh. He inspired stuff. Fire in my laser, copyright 1954. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fire in my laser, brother. In Star Wars. Oh, goodness. All right, looks like we're just going to have to run the time out here, so. Uh, I don't know. There's really not a lot of funny things you can do with Godzilla in this game. You can't really, you can't really like make him do funny things or whatever. Because if I had a, if I had to destroy all monsters, I would just keep on making them jump into the green uh, uh, barrier thing. Yeah, I would. Guys, when I was little playing that game, I would have so much fun just running the monsters into that, like jumping into it and flying back and stuff. Like I would do this thing that if when I beat a monster and right before the guy was like KO and like he would announce the winner and the monster would do their victory stance I would actually try and get it to glitch the game to where I would hit I would right before he said like KO I would actually 
jumped <laughs> into the green stuff, and then when he when he announced the winner, both monsters were on the ground looking dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chris, do, do that I'm firing my laser with Godzilla. Okay. Okay. I'm a fire in the laser. I wonder if it ever hurts. 29.9. It's probably actually like a stun. <sighs> yep, alright. Well, there's that one, so. Alrighty, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit boring. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, the next episode will be better. So, uh, stay tuned and stay big, G fans.